What is up, YouTube? So today is a day that is amazing. <sighs> Ooh, sorry. Uh, I just got out of work. Well, I got out of work and I took a nap because it was a really weird long day at work. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about it because I'm not protected under freedom of speech. So if one of my higher-ups were to see this, they could fire me. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. Just be known that it was not a good day, not a bad day, just kind of weird. So... Today is kind of an unboxing. I've kind of already unboxed everything, but it's kind of an unboxing. Uh, as you guys may know, I have always really filmed on a Canon. My first three videos were filmed on a cell phone, a Galaxy S5, which was an Austin's. But after that, 99% of my footage has been filmed on a Canon. First it was a T3, and then I purchased and gave my girl back her T3. And right now, you guys are watching me on my T6. But a while ago I bought the T6 and it was roughly in the end $385 plus a few additional things. So roughly I have, we'll say 450 in my can camera equipment. And it is awesome. I don't know if I'm going to fully just, you know, stash away the Canon. I'm sure I'll still use it for a bunch of things. But I bought a new camera. And that's what I'm unboxing today. So we're going to start off with a real quick story first. For Christmas, my girl bought me a knockoff action camera by a company I'd never heard of. And I actually found out later, the company kind of makes electric skateboards, makes a bunch of different stuff. So, she bought me the camera, and I had never taken it out of the box. I got it for Christmas from her, and it was, you know, the thought, most thoughtful gift she has ever given me. It is absolutely amazing that she even thought of me like that. But she couldn't afford, you know, like a GoPro. So she bought me this. And I went out the next day, and there's a Kmart near me, closing down, where I went and I bought a helmet. And I bought the helmet because it came with a helmet strap, like uh, a mounting. And I hooked it up, and I tested it. And sh no one would have ever known this. I wouldn't have known this. It says right on the box, HD. But in cars, when a car's terrible, we call it a lemon. In cameras, we call it a potato. Not entirely sure why. But this was a horrible potato. Even though it says it does HD, it actually was frame for frame. Like, literally watching a flip book. So, my handboarding, you'd see me on, like, uh, hands on the handboard. Then you'd see me up in a grind. You wouldn't even see a flip. And then you'd see me on back on the table. So, basically, I had to return the camera, which we didn't have a receipt, so they gave me a gift card. I was able to sell the gift card. And combining that with, as a mechanic, it's weird to say I get tips, but I actually get a lot of tips. So I've been saving my tips for three months, and in three months I finally had enough money to go out and buy a real GoPro. So, I went out and I bought a real GoPro about a week ago. Well, actually, I think I bought it Wednesday, so not even a week ago. And this thing is awesome. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I got it synced to my phone and all the good stuff. And... The helmet was not purchased in vain. I mean, it was only $7 for the helmet, but I have a mount strap on it, well, uh, just a mount. And it's awesome. Literally, I can hook it straight to the helmet, exactly where it sits, hit the button on top, and it sees everything. No adjustment needed, nothing like that. So just, just hit the button, and you're good to go. So at the end of this video, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna repost what I just posted, my last post to Instagram, and uh, have you guys just watch that, because uh, not tonight, but tomorrow, I'm going to film a full session. I put a mount on my wall, actually, that looks down at my tables. So, I'm going to do a full handboard session on this, and then Wednesday I should be skating. But the reason I waited so long for the unboxing is because I also ordered... The GoPro on Amazon was, uh, if I wanted from Amazon, $140 used. It's the cheapest I can find to get a GoPro session, which I have a session for smallest one they ever made and it actually works very well. So I actually bought the camera at Target. But if I wanted like a head strap or anything else, it, they're expensive. Like it's 20 bucks for a head strap, it's $40 for a helmet mount. And to me that didn't seem realistic. So I went on Amazon and I did some looking around and I found a big bag of stuff. So we're gonna go through the stuff here and I'm probably not gonna use most of the stuff. So set of tools to set up most of the stuff. Chest strap. A bag to put everything in. 
head no wrist strap which why a wrist strap i mean if you if you're running you know kind of be moving around a bunch waterproof floatable mini selfie stick swivel mount hat clip mount to clip to a backwards hat head strap and literally at the bottom it's just a bunch of different pieces to mounts just like in the bottom of the bag just a bunch of crazy crazy stuff just a bunch of different pieces to mounts like everything else came individually packaged except all that stuff and one thing actually i'm pretty stoked about because i know for a fact nigel alexander does this so this is just a selfie stick but it has a big distance to it so you hook the gopro up to it basically and literally ride on your skateboard and just hold it down and now you have like a really awesome low angle a lot of people have started doing this now so this i'm stoked for because I still don't have a screen that folds out. My camera screen doesn't fold out. So when I film on my handle, it's actually pretty difficult. You don't know if you're getting like the perfect shot or not. And then I got the fisheye lens, which makes it a lot easier. But this GoPro has a massive like fisheye already built into it. So using this will make life so much easier for the sense of that. So that's basically like everything. Like there is just so much stuff. Like, um, the swivel mount is meant to go on my, uh, dashboard in my car. Well, I'm probably not going to use that. Uh, I can't really see me using a wrist mount. I don't really imagine me ever needing a wrist mount. Well, this bag is shredded. But, oh, this is the head mount. <laughs> Which, actually, I'm probably going to start filming handboarding with the head mount instead of the helmet because I, that's what the last video was I didn't open this I actually didn't even get this in the mail at the time when I posted the handboarding video to Instagram and I did it all with the helmet on and it's not that it was really really difficult it's that I have wore a helmet twice ever skating and that is just because the one skate park I go to every now and then requires you to wear a helmet and while that sucks I understand why you have to do that so, you know, I was kind of stuck with that. But I am so stoked to be like have like to have this, and it is so easy to use. There's literally two buttons on it, and I can use it with my phone if I want to make sure I'm getting the right shot. And there's a lot of like cool mini features to it. If I push the top button, it just starts recording. Um, if I push it and hold it for three seconds, it starts recording in time lapse, which is amazing because. On my new editing software, you guys may have noticed, my time lapses are a lot lacking now entirely because I only can go times four. So that is a terrible time lapse. On my old editing software, I can go up to times 64, which made it look so cool, super sick. But I'm stoked about a lot of the things on here. I'm stoked about a lot of the stuff on here. And I cannot wait to start using the GoPro more. And the reason why I'm actually, like, really excited about this is because if I'm, like, feeling like a lazy day, like a lazy skate session, truthfully, I could strap it to the helmet, throw the helmet in my car, my board in the car, and drive. Instead of having to pack up multiple batteries and all my camera gear for the Canon and go set up a tripod and stuff like that. Plus, now I can do double angles about things. I can do uh, first-person skateboarding, which... I'm super stoked about so Wednesday there might be a dude I might be meeting up with which if that's the case and I get to film him he is amazing he is an amazing skater but what I'm excited for is Wednesday I've actually since I bought this made enough in tips this week to go to an indoor skate park near me and that, that was my goal if I can make enough in tips then I would go to the new the indoor skate park and the reason I've never taken you guys there so far is because there's literally nowhere to set a camera. Like, literally nowhere. The entire warehouse is the skate park, wall to wall. And then there's a door that leads into the shop and that. But there is literally nowhere 
to set down a camera. If you were there by yourself, maybe, but I had taken Austin there two weeks ago now, and there was 11 of us, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I collided with a few people. Austin collided with one person, I think, and it was it was an amazing fun time, but it, it's, you know, weird to film there. So we brought the Canon, but we actually never pulled it out. But if I get to go with a GoPro, then, you know, I could be like, oh, wait, my turn? Okay, boop, and get ready to go. So that's the end of the unboxing. I'm super stoked on having this now. This is absolutely amazing. I've been wanting a GoPro for a very long time. And finally, I have one. And I'm stoked to use it. And now, basically, I'm just going to play that handboarding clip. And I hope you guys, as always, enjoyed this video. And thank you for liking, commenting, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Come on, let's reach my goal. Uh, real quick, I want to talk about it. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, before the video, I'm actually might post a picture real quick. Did you guys see? I put this list up, and I read off to you guys this list. And one was to gain a new sponsor. And literally, right after this video dropped, I went to a party for New Year's Eve. And one hour into the new year, I picked up a new sponsor, more or less. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys might know who Hunter Handboards is. He is soon releasing my pro sticker, which is absolutely amazing. And it's based off the tattoo on my forearm. So I'm sure I'll do a full unboxing when those come out and I get my set. But I'm going to post a quick picture of that. Of course, the camera stops right at the end. Have a great day, guys.